with okraw.com today we have another exciting episode for him here in the greater los angeles area and today i want to share with you guys my personal opinions and experiences and taste test sugar cane juice i mean i have my own sugar cane juicer at home but not everybody's gonna buy a sugar cane juicer but so you may come to a sugar cane shop which should be all over the country unfortunately there's not a lot of them out there in los angeles there's you know many different sellers that will sell sugar cane juice but in this episode, I hope to share with you guys the best sugar cane juice bar you guys can come to to get sugar cane if you guys want the highest quality, best juice to drink that's gonna be the most health beneficial. And so I'm gonna visit two sugar cane shops in this episode, and I'm gonna show you guys my taste test comparison, and also we'll show you guys in the video like two different sugar cane juices and how they look different. Um, and then maybe even get some of my friends to kind of comment on their thoughts on how the different juices taste, as well as we're gonna investigate the sugar cane, find out where the sugar cane comes from, you know, if it's local or imported, if it's fresh or frozen, because you know, there's a lot of things that go on in the behind the scenes of the sugar cane juice bars that you may not be familiar with. And for me, my channel is all about just spreading out the knowledge of what is true you know, and just putting it out there so that you guys could make your own decision on what juice you want to buy and what sugar cane shop you want to support. So the first shop I'll be visiting today, I'm here in Rosemead, California, and we're visiting uh, Vita Cane, sugar cane juicery and acai bar, and check it out, they have a big sign, certified organic sugar cane. So that's definitely a good sign. Hey, I love supporting organic agriculture whenever possible. And uh, let's go ahead and head inside and order sugar cane juice and uh, let's see if we can see what their cane looks like. So while many of you guys may think that sugar cane juice is basically just sugar water, it is much more than sugar water, right? When they juice real sugar cane, they're basically extracting all the water from the sugar cane and all its structured water and you're getting all the vitamins and minerals as well as a small amount of sugar. Actually, I think the thing is the orange juice you probably had for breakfast actually has more sugar in it than sugar cane juice. Now, of course, when you extract the sugar cane juice and then they process it and make white sugar, not the same thing. I do not recommend you guys, you know, eat white sugar or processed sugar products, but I'm in full support of sugar cane juice. There are many health benefits, and check out this nice sign here. This is a all natural farm raised sugar cane, non GMO, pesticide free, clean, chilled, then raw pressed to ensure grade A juice for your healthy energy alternative. Rush, and then there are, uh, anyways, the health benefits are their alkaline, detox, antioxidants, potassium, carbohydrates, electrolytes, zinc, iron, energy boost, nutrients, metabolism, anti inflammatory vitamin, minerals, magnesium, calcium, and of course, it's healthy. And I guess this is a uh, Vita means pronounced Vita is a Latin origin and it means is life. Vita can mean the happy life, the ultimate in perfection, an amazing, beautiful, intelligent, and fun person that you can't help but help. Help but love. So that's why it's a bite of cane. You gotta love the cane, nice and vibrant. All right, so let's go ahead and order some bite of cane juice. So I just ordered my sugar cane juice, and you can see the menu up there. You can basically get uh, 24 ounces or 32 ounces with ice or without. If you don't get ice, it costs a bit more because the ice takes up some space in the glass. And then you can actually buy a half gallon or even a gallon which is cool. And then you can see all the different additives or things. So they have like, you could add matcha powder, turmeric powder, you could add toppings, different toppings, like all extra, or you could actually mix the sugar cane with the juice. And they said they make all the juices fresh, kumquat, blueberry, lime, ginger, pennywort, pineapple, strawberry, and watermelon. Then of course they have their signature menu with like different things. They make smoothies and all that stuff. So that's kind of cool. And let's take a look and see what they're juicing. So they're juicing the sugar cane fresh, which is very important. I don't want them to like bring it from the back. I want to see see it being made right in front of me. And I want to show you guys what the cane looks like. So he's going to show us. So this is the, this is your guys' cane. Now where is this cane coming from? Um, like grown in California, local? Or? I'm pretty sure it's grown like uh, out of the, the United States. Oh, outside yeah. the U.S. All right, cool. And then it looks like it's peeled a little bit or something, right? Yeah, so it basically just uh, pre cuts it about like too, too long. Uh -huh. And uh, we juice it and all right, okay. cool. So it looks good, man. So now he's going to juice that cane. I'm going to be drinking that cane in just a minute. All 
All right, check it out. I got my sugarcane juice. Look at that nice color on that sugarcane juice. Got a straw it's in this little container. It's even like, <laughs> like it's not gonna spill the car. Amazing, all right, let's head out. All right, so being the investigative reporter that I am, and I wanna know, I like to know what's up and what's going on at different places. Like I asked him where the cane's from, because to me, that's very important. Like cane will grow in California and I want fresh cane, right? And so I want to, he just, he's like, I think it's set from outside the USA. So when in doubt, go around to the back of the building and see if you could find empty boxes of what they got or if there's any empty boxes. And sure enough, I found some empty boxes of cane so I could tell you guys fully about the cane that they're sourcing. So this is how I think they work here. My personal opinion, I don't really know how they do it here. But basically, I know what this is. This is a big, like, actually, like, I don't know, 20 foot or something like container that they get shipped over from out of the country. So we, we definitely have established that. And actually this is a freezer container. So they got to keep their cane frozen, right? And then, you know, they basically will get big container loads and then take it out of the freezer and then bring it inside to juice it for the customers, which, you know, that's the way they work. That's great. But the question is, let's find out more about the cane because they also had empty boxes so I could actually see where the cane is from because it was outside the country and you know what's going on with it so let's check it out so this is the shipping container that they keep the frozen cane in and check this out here is a box that their cane came in and check it out man they got branded by the cane boxes that's the cane and check it out it says certified organic so that's good i do not see any kind of usda certified sticker or anything other than than just saying us than saying certified organic but I see nothing else to like, you know, with no certification number. And it says uh, Vitacane Sugarcane Juicery and Farm. So maybe they even have their own farm packed for Vitacane in Rosemead. So actually that's this place here. It says frozen sugarcane, perishable, keep frozen, store at zero degrees or below. So this is definitely not fresh cane, despite saying fresh, quick, frozen. So to me, that's like an oxymoron. How can something be frozen, but yet fresh, right? like try to eat a fresh banana or freeze a banana and then thaw it out and then try to eat it like it's totally like mush right <laughs> so not to say that it's bad but you know this is just what it is so fresh quick frozen vita cane frozen sugar cane you know blah blah blah. net weight 44 pounds on oh, check this out best before right i just picked this box up uh 20 slash 05 2024 so the, the way they would do it that would be may 20th 2024 Today is currently December 2022. So what does that mean? That means this cane could be in storage for two years. And then when you buy the cane juice, if they're not selling it a lot, right? You could be drinking cane juice from cane that was harvested two years ago that has been frozen. Now to me, hey, nothing wrong with frozen foods. They're amazing. But I want you guys to know what you're getting when you're buying your cane juice. So yeah, Vita Canes, quick, fresh, frozen cane from Vietnam. Maybe I'll, I'll even take this box with me so I can show you guys this later. All right, so you guys know I just came from Vitacane and got their juice still sealed in their package because I want to do a taste test comparison for you guys. And now I've driven actually, I don't know, a couple miles away, not even too far here in Rosemead on Garvey. And we're at another sugarcane place. Yes, I'm a sugarcane juice fanatic because I want the best and I want you guys to have the best. And that's why I'm here to do a taste test comparison. And we're going to learn about the cane juice they sell here at Fresh Cane Premium Cold Press Sugar Cane. So this is, they don't say it's certified organic. I don't know if it is organic, but it's Premium Cold Press Sugar Cane Juice. So let's find out if the Premium Cold Press Sugar Cane Juice from Fresh Canes is better than the Vita Cane. It sounds like it's vital. All right. And check it out. If you come to Fresh Canes, you guys got rever your own reserve parking space for sugar cane juicery only. All right, so let's check this out. Oh, I wanna give you guys the hours here. So Monday, they're closed. They're open on Tuesday, 11 to seven. Close Wednesday, they're open Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, 11 to seven. So let's check it out. This is more of like a mom and pop shop. Like Vita Cane is like a big operation. They have multiple locations around LA. But if you want the fresh cane, you gotta come to this place because like literally this is like mom and pop shop, like, you know, small time business trying to make a living. All right, so you can see, check it out. Here's our nice menu, nice style. I love like how it's, in, I love I love the decor in here, right? And check it out, they got like uh, t-shirts and uh, health benefits of extracted sugar cane juice. I really want to go over the benefits again, you know, it says uh, 
It says facilitates development of bone and teeth, uh, rich in antioxidants, helps uh, cure febrile disorder, anti-aging skin benefits, aids liver functions, boosts energy levels, digestive tonic, fights cancer, who making some high, car, high core claims here, inhibits DNA damage, fever reducer, helps prevent acne, boosts immunity, removes toxins, strengthens body organs, treats acidity. Oh, they even got sugar, sugar cane floats here. Sugar cane juice and one ice cream flavor. That's crazy. But yeah, no, here's the thing, guys. Like, sugar cane juice, like in the States, like, we don't know this. But in the tropics, like, go to Puerto Rico or some of the South American countries or Vietnam and Southeast Asia where they grow sugar cane, right? They've been using the sugar cane juice for, like, hundreds of years for many different ailments. I'm not going to make any kind of claims that... Sure cane juice is gonna heal, but what I will tell you is that sugar cane juice, despite being sugar cane juice, is like a thousand times healthier than a soda. So if you guys are stuck on soda, live in LA, get the sugar cane juice. You're elevating your health by getting fresh sugar cane juice. But the type of sugar cane juice you guys buy matters. Whether it's vita cane or fresh canes, I wanna find out what's tastier, and more importantly, what's more healthy. All right, so we're here. Oh, and then I want to tell you guys the prices. So here, they got pick your size. They got a medium for five dollars or a large for uh, six fifty. I think the and the medium these that's like with ice. I think and if, oh, and then no ice. If you want no ice, a medium is ten and a large is thirteen. And then you could buy a half gallon and a full gallon. So right now the medium's ten, and that's like twenty four ounces. If you get no ice. And if you get a large, it's thirteen dollars, and that's I think uh, thirty-two ounces with no no ice. Half gallons twenty-six, and a full gallon is fifty-two. So you know, here's the thing, guys. I just paid eight bucks. Why should I pay two dollars more for twenty four ounces of sugar cane juice, right? And you can see the time on here. It was it was uh they made it at six twenty p.m. So like literally, that's like fifteen minutes ago. So anyways, I'm gonna order. I'm gonna order here. All right. So I want to get a medium with no ice right and then, then i want to ask you like why is the sugar cane juice like better here why why are you called fresh cane we are called the fresh cane because we sell fresh sugar cane fresh sugar cane all right so do you know where the sugar cane is from yes we grow our sugar canes in california from a farm in california so this is wow this is california grown so this is local sugar cane that's being pressed it's not like being shipped across the world from the other, the Vitacane was having it from Vietnam, has to get frozen, put on a boat, shipped over, and then trucked from the port to here. They gotta keep it cold. This this place basically gets their cane locally. You know, probably, I'm thinking they probably grow kind of more a little bit south, maybe like near the San Diego kind of border thing down there. So yeah, that's why it costs more money because local is always best, right? You guys shop your local farmer's market, right? buy local, eat local. And I'm, tonight I'm gonna be drinking some local sugar cane juice. Yeah, so hook me up with a medium sugar cane juice, no ice. No ice, all right. One medium, no ice, that'll be $10. All right. <laughs> all right, I got my sugar cane juice ordered. Oh, but here's the thing. So um, do you guys, do you make the sugar cane juice right here in front? I mean, I wanna see the sugar cane juice being made. Oh uh, no, we actually press our sugar cane in the back. Oh, in the back? Yes. Uh, you know, what I tell you guys is like, I don't necessarily trust companies that like make stuff in the back because I don't know what they're doing. So, so is it possible? Cause I'm making a video, you know, for YouTube. Can I see like how you make the cane juice? Sure thing, I can just ask my boss. All right, so you got to check with the boss. Let's see. <laughs> yes, sir, how can I help you? Hi, my name is John Kohler and I'm making a YouTube video, right? Yes, sir. And I just came from Fresh or actually from Vitacane down the street. Right. And today I'm doing a taste test. Okay. You know, and I want to tell people the difference between like the cane juice I got there, which was cheaper, man. It was like two less cheaper than your cane juice. And I want to see if your cane juice is better. And what size are they? So this is like 24 ounces, no ice for $8. This is the 24 ounces, the medium. Oh, all right. So it's the same, but. It's the same, but there's slimmer. Shape. Our size is wider, but the ounces is uh -huh. 25 ounces. Oh, so this is 24, that's 25. Yes, our medium are larger than whatever A the little bit larger. Color, color the size is. This is our 35, uh, 32 ounces here. Uh -huh. And this is our large size. All right. 
So you get bang for your You bucks. get a little bit more here. But the other thing is that I asked him where their cane is from. The guy's like, I think it's from outside the U.S. And then I went around the back of the place and I saw that it's actually from Vietnam and frozen. So tell me about your cane here. Where does it come from? We've been doing sugar cane business for eight years now. Eight years. So we did a little research on how, why the cane comes from other state or other country. California have very strict agriculture law. Whatever you bring it in, like sugarcane, for example, you have to pasteurize it. You have to freeze it, cook it, boil it, and freeze it, and then you're allowed to bring it in. The reason is quarantine. Some bugs are in there, but it's going to be dead bugs. But they still have it. But it's up to you to notice and cut it and throw away. That would be a perfect cane. Once you throw away the bad part. However, once you pasteurize it, we all know. It kills everything. It kills the everything. The enzymes, the nutrients. Exactly, and you don't have that natural grassy taste. Mm. All you taste is like syrup. Oh, like sugar. Sugar. So you're telling me this is not gonna taste as good as your, well, I wanna, I wanna put it to the test, man. I wanna taste yours, but the thing I have, man, is that I saw them make this cane in front of me. Like, I know that they didn't add stuff. Because I mean, I've been to a sugar cane place in Florida right. where they take sugar and they they added sugar, like, white sugar to my shirt cane juice after they made it. Now I saw them do it. No, and like, I don't like when like people do stuff in the right. back. So is it possible to see how you make the cane juice here? And I want to see your cane to see, cause they showed me the cane at the other place. And it was like, for, it looked like thawed out and like they peeled it and it like didn't look fresh, man. It's and you- It's a cane, but it's a frozen cane. Yeah, people frozen. People thought when they say frozen cane, they thought it was juice frozen. No. Actually, it's a cane itself, so they can bring it in the state and juice it in front of people's bill. But it's a pasteurized cane. Pasteurized from the cane. Correct. And so yours is different. Mine, I like to support the U.S. local grown domestic sugar cane. Grown in California. Local. California. Local. I don't import. You don't import. No. And how do you get your cane then? Here at the farm, all the way near Cali, Mexico, but not there yet. It's still in California, so that's fine. And then, so if it's so like the other place has big container in their back where they keep all their frozen cane that they could they could keep for two years. Yes. Their cane can be frozen for two years before they juice it, and it's still considered fresh frozen, whatever that means, because you saw the expiration date on the box. Guys, I got a special invite to the back of the house to see their fresh cane because you know what? I like people that are transparent, that'll show you the cane, show you the juicing process so you know they're not making nothing up. So yeah, all right, yeah, take me, in the, what, what's your name? Jason. Jason, I'm John, man. Nice. Good to meet you, Jason. All right, behind the scenes, it's a special, like you probably don't do this for most people, but I'm making a video today. This is our cooler, okay. our freezer. A lot of places they have freezers, like if they're frozen cane, cooler to keep the fresh cane on and be my guest. All right, cool. So we're gonna go in the cooler to see the fresh cane and check it out. You can see the temperature on here, right? It's 51 rising. degrees, right? Freezing is 32, so that other cane had to be kept. Actually, I think it said on the box. What did it say on the box? I forget what it said, but it said store at zero degrees or something. 51, that means it is fresh. And uh, let's check out some California grown cane. Oh, check this out, man. There's like all these fresh canes in here. This looks super vibrant. Look at this. This is like, this has the skin on it. It's just nice and clean. It's nice and vibrant. This is like eating like fresh food versus frozen food that's been thawed out, right? Wow, this stuff is amazing. So yeah, why are you paying $2 more, which is not a lot. You're paying $2 more for fresh California grown sugar cane local. And I, I want you guys to support local food. But the most important thing is, how does this stuff taste? I don't know, we're gonna find out because we're gonna get some juice in front of my eyes for the camera. We're gonna show you guys the difference in color and we're gonna do a taste test, not only me, but a few of my friends that I'm hanging with um, today. All right, so check it out. Jason literally just got a whole bundle of the fresh cane out and there's the juicer there. So Jason, tell us about the juicer that you use to squeeze out the cane juice. Well, I'll call this a Lexus. The Lexus. Yes. Why is it a Lexus? Because on the market, this juicer is one of the best on the market right now. You, you can get. So, 
when I go show you, I'll, I'll just say Wait, this. wait, Jason, why is this juicer the Lexus? What makes this juicer okay. better than other sugarcane juicers that are out there? Because of the quality control by David Kane. David Kane. Yes. All right. Yeah, because he, he originally from California, he went back and built this machine with excellent QC on this machine. That's why quality control. control on this machine versus the one made in Vietnam, China, Philippines. This is the best. That's the best cane juice. So the best cane, the best cane from California using the best juicer, hopefully should give me the best cane juice, right? So let's see how this baby works. Well, flip the switch. All right, this is running, running. You can see the gears in there running at a low and slow RPM. So it's not oxidizing like a high speed juicer. And look at this, it's crushing up that cane. You can see the juice getting, you know, put through a sieve there for you so you don't have to get any particles. Filter it out. Filtering it out. Okay. Would you like to do a pleasure trying uh, the juice your own cane? Oh yeah, I love the juice my own cane. Check this out. Juicing your cane is easy as dropping it in, giving it a little bit of pressure. <laughs> and check it out, it sucks it in. The juice is coming out on this side and check it out there. It's squeezing it super dry, getting all the nutrition out. Now, here's the thing I want to show you guys about the about what's coming out, right? Look at this. This is like super amazing. It's super dry, but this is the most important thing for you guys, right? You guys know that when you need an apple, right? You want to eat the skin because actually a lot of the nutrition of an apple, as well as many fruits and vegetables, is right on or under the skin. If you guys remember at the other cane shop, they basically peeled the skin off. So this with using just this, the fresh cane with this juicer is basically grinding up the skin and you're getting the nutrients, right? Antioxidants from the skin into the juice. So the juice is probably, in this case, gonna look more green if they had like red sugar cane or the purple one, the juice would maybe have a little bit of red or purple to it and that's actually nutrition and also flavor. In addition, many people don't know that if we look at the sugar cane, you might be able to see like the white part on it and that's sugar cane wax. And you know, there are medical studies that show there are benefits to getting the eating the sugarcane wax. So you're gonna get a little bit of sugarcane wax when you get the fresh cane juice here at Fresh Canes that you're not gonna get at juiceries that are using the frozen cane. All right, so check this out, man. At Fresh Canes, you got Jason back here who's an expert sugarcane juicer. He's been juicing for eight years and I think almost all the time he's the guy juicing your cane juice for you. And when he's, he's juicing the cane, He's using his eyes and like, I can't spot this stuff, but he's basically making sure that the cane he got from the farmers, the high quality cane he got from the farmers is legit. So he's only juicing you fresh cane. So he was juicing this and all of a sudden he stopped the machine. I'm like, what's up, man? He's like, dude, this is quality control. We got some, we got some problems. Cause you know what? Things grown in nature, it's always gonna have some issues. So like, check this out what he saw. When Jason saw he was juicing this. You can see he was juicing and squeezing it. But then he saw this going in right here. And look at this, this little spot right there, right? That's probably a sugarcane boar bug, right? And Jason doesn't want the sugarcane boar bug getting, you know, and in this part, you can see the damage right there. This is not a lot of damage, guys. Like, it just looks a little bit off color. Like, if it was me at home, I would just juice it. I don't care. But Jason stopped the machine, pulled it out so that he's not serving juice to his customers that's not perfect, not the best quality you guys could get. So, to me, that's impressive. All right, so now that Jason made the sugarcane juice, he brought it up to the front end, and they're gonna pour the sugarcane juice in the uh, little glasses there. We're gonna, get a, we're gonna get a couple, two for the camera people. <laughs> and actually, uh, this, these are 25 ounce, so you actually get one more ounce, and they're kind of fat and wide versus tall and skinny. And look at the color on that, guys. Like, does the color of that sugarcane juice look different? than the one I got from the other uh, sugar cane place. I mean, to me, it looks a lot more green, a lot more vibrant. All right, so check it out. They're gonna seal it now. So they put it in the sealing machine, just like the other place kind of sealed it up too, so it doesn't spill on the drive home. And it just goes in the machine, and they basically heat seal it on. And check it out, man, this packaging is really nice. Oh, she, she checks it, see that? She tip flipped it over to make sure it doesn't leak. Make sure you get good sugar cane juice. And check it out, there it is. Fresh Cane's Rosemead Premium Cold Press Sugar Cane Juice. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do a taste test, this stuff versus the other stuff, and we're gonna find out which one tastes better. All right, so check it out. We've got our Fresh Cane Juice here, Premium, <laughs> from
from Fresh Canes. We got three of them, one for me and one for my buddy Nate, who's uh, hanging out with today, and the camera person, Lissa. You can check them out at Raw Food Romance if you want to check out what they're doing on YouTube or Instagram. And uh, they're going to taste test for me, so it's not just me tasting it. We got three people, to, and we're going to see which juice each of us like. Maybe one person might like one, or one person like the other, or maybe we'll like all the same one or different ones. I don't really know what's going to happen, but we want to give you guys an honest comparison to see what happens. So I want to show you guys this first, all right? So you really can't see the juice color because they got the like the black label. But if we look at the bottom, right, just look at the bottoms. Look at that. See the difference in color? Which one looks better to you? Like to me, like honestly, this one, it kind of looks like my pee that's been hanging out for a couple of days and it gets cloudy, man. Like seriously, it's like kind of <laughs> yellowish. And like, look at this. This is like green. This is like, this is the color I think, you know, when I go to Hawaii, sugarcane juice is this green. It ain't like this anemic kind of yellow color, right? So let's open these up. All right, so let's go ahead and open these guys up. They just kind of... Uh, peel up man this is kind of hard to get off so you guys can see actually you know what that's kind of reminds me of like apple juice or something right and then we could go ahead and peel this one off here all right there you guys can see the difference in the color there up, up top this is kind of greenish and that's just kind of more like yellowish right what we're going to do here is because we got three of these ones the fresh ones we're going to go ahead and pour some of this off into my friend's cup so they get to try a little bit All right, and then I got I got both to try. So let's see, which one should I try first, Nate? Um, I'd say, well, since you got that fresh, maybe yeah, try this one. Try first. this one, because I mean, they made this, I yeah. don't know, maybe a half hour ago now at this point. Yeah. But yeah, still pretty fresh, all right? Smell it, no, I mean, it smells all right. Oh yeah, let's, yeah, to your health, man. I mean, let's taste it and we'll give our honest opinions, Nate. Do we have to do it like the wine? Like. <laughs> wow, man, I know what I think that tastes like. Mm. It's insane. To me, in my mouth, it's what I- so crazy sweet. Yeah, to me in my mouth, what I get is like, I just get sugar. I'm it's like, just, it's it like tastes like sugar, sugar water. Pure sugar water. And what it tastes like to me, honestly, is it tastes like you took water and you took like a white sugar packet and you just yeah. stirred it up and then that's what this is. It's like a white There's sugar packet. Of like other uh, essence of flavor. I don't really taste any depth. I taste yeah. like solid sugar hit. So yeah. hey, if you want a sugar kit, man, it's this is still better than a Coke, man, or a soda. Yeah. But it's just a solid sugar hit. It's it still is. better than putting white sugar in water. Right. Yeah, Absolutely. Sure. You've got some nutrition in there, some antioxidants, even though it's been frozen. Interesting, though. Hmm. All right. Oh, now you get to open yours, man. <laughs> you know, maybe I'm going to go with one of their yeah. straws. They've got the cool straw with the old. Yeah, pop it in there. Look at that. All right, much easier, yeah. All mm -hmm. right, let's try. It. All right, let's try the let's try the one from Fresh Canes, man. See if this take, makes a difference. All right, All right we're gonna cheers. try this one. Mm. Fresh made, right in front of our eyes. Mmm. Whoa. Wow, dude, this is insane. So, if you like sweet juices, right, go the other place because it's sickly ass sweet. It's sickly sweet. This this like, one is like salty almost too. Yeah, it's salty, minerally. It's. Really, I you mean, got I some sweet. background sweetness though yeah. in there. There's sweet, it's sweet, but it's not the it's complex, part. it's yeah. complex. You can't yeah. really describe and say, like, but that I mean, of course, maybe we should have rinsed with water, yeah, in between. But that salt rush in the beginning, mm. that's just, probably the skin. It's way more We're minimal. tasting the skin, like, it's still delicious, it's just. There's more, you, you know there's more nutrition. It's like more depth. There, you right? got, there's got to be more nutrition in this Yeah, one. for sure. You know there's more sugar in the other one, so automatically, mm. like, there's less nutrition if there's more sugar. Let me taste, taste that one. This, this is just plain, bland, totally like water, like you're saying. Cool that there's... Oh my there. gosh! Cool. Dude, you're so right, because after tasting the good one that's like hardcore, like deep, like complex, this is like... This is like, I mean, it's just like, it, this This is like tasting water that's sweet, like syrup. It tastes like syrup, man. I, oh man, I'm glad I saved some to have that contrast. The comparison, that's it's insane, crazy. huh? Yeah. Like you would, and if you just go to a regular sugar cane shop, right? Mm. A lot of sugar cane shops, unfortunately, just sell the frozen cane, why? Because it's cheaper for them to buy it imported from Vietnam, easier to yeah. get. They don't gotta drive to the farm each week like Jason does to pick it up fresh. Sometimes two times a week he does. Wow. 
That's crazy. And the quality is so much. So would you pay like two dollars more for this? Oh, one hundred percent. Like easily, and, right? Any day of the week. And the dude's cool. Like this is his shop. Yeah, he let me go in the he, back and show like, you guys. Check, check this out. Like he's pumped on it. This is his gig. Eight years, boutique style. Like yeah, definitely good vibe in here for sure. I would I would come here the two extra bucks. 100%. Like, I, I don't know if I'd ever want to drop. I, I don't want to drink. Dude, this to me, I, I mean, like, honestly, though, it's awesome that there's an option. Yeah, it's awesome. We don't even have options like that where we're yeah, at. Yeah, exactly. But, but oh, it, dude, if like, like just a like few get months, the good stuff. Treat a, yourself $2 more, guys. Not a lot of money for the, and actually you get an extra ounce for the good stuff that's like real local sugarcane juice. And it was just a way few better. more blocks away. Yeah, it wasn't even that far, man. And if you live in other parts of Los Angeles County or even Orange County, a lot of ask the stores if they get their stuff from Vietnam and if they don't tell you, do what I did. Go in the back to see if they have all these empty boxes oh from gosh. Vietnam. Right. right? You're getting and if your cane juice looks like this, like yellowish, mm -hmm. and it doesn't look nice and solid, like demand fresh cane juice you know, from your juiceries. I wonder like Man, it's too bad. We should, we should almost pour that in the clear so you can see the contrast. All right, I want to show you guys some things real quick here. So we get, once again, we got that uh, other cane juice, the, what, the Vita Canes. And I want, to sh I want to pour out my cane juice so you guys can see the color because you can't really see it. So check this out. So here's the color of the cane juice here, side by side of this juice. You guys can see like the, the, the more like depth mm -hmm. of color. It's just more complex. And of course, it's as you guys just learned, it's more complex flavors. now. Here's the thing, guys, like sugar cane, it's a grass, right? And grasses are known to absorb like the minerals from the earth. Like that's why wheat grass is so good. And the sugar cane absorbs all the minerals. And I think that's what we're tasting. Yeah. Like not only is it like local cane, but they probably have better growing practices so it's that the plant incredible. grow, you know, takes up more minerals. So it's more minerally plus they're juicing with the, with the skin versus, you know, the imported cane that I don't, I'm not really sure about their growing practices. It's so, so yeah. it's so like amazing. Yeah, this you stuff know is you're amazing. getting, you know that you're getting electrolytes replaced. Like it has that. It has yeah, that best taste. electrolyte drink, man. I mean, oh, and the other thing I want to mention, you guys too, from the fresh canes, is that a lot of people come to these uh, cane juiceries, right? And you could get 100% cane juice like I did because I'm a purist, right? Mm -hmm. But it's all right. You guys don't have to be a purist. You can come to the cane juice place and you could get the cane juice. Actually, here you could get it mixed with kumquat juice. Let's see, let's look at the menu here. What do they say? You can get kumquat juice, you can get watermelon juice, lemon, pineapple, green apple, cucumber, carrot, um, ginger, or pennywort, or even like coconut. So you could get it like infused. So you could get like, they put like a little that bit of that juice to flavor your sugar cane juice. So it's like you're making a soda that's not carbonated, right? And when they do this in other juice, uh, cane juiceries that's using like the frozen cane, you can't, it, it, like, the flavors meld in, so you can't tell like the cane juice isn't as good because you're tasting like the overpowering flavor of the other flavor that you're getting in there, right? And you can see they got juicers back here where they juice all those ingredients like fresh to like infuse them into your cane juice. So yeah, let's go ahead and get the camera person in and see what she thinks of the two different cane juices and see if she agrees with Nate and I on what we thought. All right, listen, so when's the last time you had cane juice? Jeez, months ago. Months ago, all months right. And months ago. All right, so <laughs> let's go ahead and give, you, give the, you guys a taste test out there in YouTube land and see what you think between the Vita Canes versus the Fresh Canes. Who's the winner? All right, so I'm going to start with this one because you guys started with all right. this one. Now give us your honest opinion. Mm -hmm. Don't let us influence what you're going to say, but tell us what your taste buds are tasting. So sweet. Isn't it? It's like really sweet. Mm. <laughs> it's really sweet. Oh my gosh. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> so deep. Yeah. There's like so many flavors. Flavors. Tons of different flavors. And it's not as sweet. Like that one is just, like you guys said, syrup. Sickly sweet. It was yeah. way too sweet. This one is so nice. Like, yeah, you can taste the minerals. It tastes grounding. Yeah. So Mm-hmm. Mm. Definitely. Yeah. I would get this one over that one for sure. Yeah. So, I mean, if you guys don't believe me, right, do your own taste test. These places are just a couple miles apart. Do it. What you're going to find out is that, you know, the fresh canes, in my opinion, taste the best. Of course, if you just want sweet, hey, go to the other place. But if you want high quality, 
nutrition locally grown that's gonna be healthier for you and give you more health benefits because that's why I drink the cane juice for the health benefits. Not, I don't necessarily need more sugar in my life, but for the health benefits and I don't want the sugar, I want the higher mineral content. People are being demineralized these days and sugar cane can help to you know, get you the minerals your body needs. So yeah, I guess in the end, I think I'm gonna say the fresh cane juice wins by a long shot. And actually I wanna ask um, Jason, the owner, one more question. So after <laughs> after drinking this one, after drinking I took the fresh cane, you don't really want to drink it. It just doesn't taste good anymore, right? Because it doesn't, doesn't it taste like we're really watery. That's what like Nate said. Syrup. It's like syrup. watery. It's a really good word. Yeah, it's this like tastes water. complex. Yeah. That tastes watery. So frozen cane mm -hmm. juice tastes watery. And if that's what you guys got, and you guys got to experience fresh canes. Nothing like this. Oh look. All right, Jason, so here's the thing, man. Say you have a, uh, say, say somebody owned a juice bar and they've been buying the Vietnam cane and they've right. seen like in this video, they're like, it's not that good. Right. How can somebody get their hands on this cane or maybe somebody has a sugar cane juicer at home? Like, I mean, I have a sugar cane juicer at home. Right. How can I get your cane so I can get this high quality juice too? Well, how can you tell is a frozen and a fresh cane? Fresh is has a shiny skin on. Oh yeah, the other and one was dull. The other one is already shaved skin. Shaved skin, yeah. They, 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 they shave it, put, put through, through the through the machine, and then they sh shave it up a little bit. So a little sandy. It's not smooth. Mm. That's a frozen one. And uh, yeah, frozen the life expense is about three weeks. If I cannot sell it, this is going to the trash. So the fresh oh. only lasts three weeks. So like the frozen stuff sits back in the shop, in the back of the shop, so they have zero waste because it's only frozen, they take it out as they need it. But if Jason doesn't sell his within three weeks, it's bad and you have to throw it away. Yep. So that, that's why you gotta pay more here because you're paying for the quality. And we support the US. You support so local, local, grow, local grow, growers, grow, local grow, farmers. farmers. But Jason, the question is like, if somebody's watching this and they have a juice bar and they're currently buying the imported cane and they they want to get the higher quality fresh stuff you know where do you get yours will you share that with everybody out there well i'm as a wholesale and i'd be happy to take you to the farm and show you who's the farmer is growing this beautiful canes and you have hundreds of acres so you're going to share your your secret farmers resources so that people could source the fresh cane now why would you do this plus the soil in california is so good and i want the people get experience the taste of it of california soil between florida soil and california soil different taste same cane different flavor and i think california flavor is the best Cool, so say I wanted to get some of your cane, could I come here and buy it from you? Yes, sir. All right, awesome. I might even take some cane home with me so I could juice it at home in my juicer at home. All right, Jason, so anything you'd like to share about fresh canes before I sign off today? Um, fresh canes have been here established for eight years, and we've been doing like community uh, business here. Never raise the price, even inflation hits. Everywhere raises the price, and we kept the same. All right, last question is, will you guys hook, will, will Jason, will you hook up my viewers with a special one-time discount on their first visit if they come here? Yes. Oh, let's check you guys out. I'm trying to hook you guys up to get a better price. So what's the discount you're going to give my people? I give you 10% discount. First visit. First visit. 10% off. So when you guys Mention come here. John Kohler. Mention John Kohler. So come here. What you want to do is you want to get the best deal. So you're going to bring your, your, uh, one gallon like mason jars or half gallon mason jars bring two of them so you can buy a gallon and get 10 percent off you'll save like five bucks off a gallon and you know and you can watch my other videos i have another video i posted like a couple weeks ago link down below how you guys can store your sugar cane juice for up to a week if you do all my techniques in that video so you can be drinking some sugar cane juice you bought at jason's a gallon drink it over a you know a week or so using my techniques once again link down below for that video and I have many customers on power cleansing. Ah, perfect. Yeah, if you want to they do some kind of cleanse. They come to, 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 to do their cleansing for weeks, 10 days, 15 days. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I encourage you guys, get on the sugar cane juice and get off the soda and other processed beverages that you buy 
pre-made in the store. It's got all the enzymes and nutrition. You know, of course, I also have to recommend fruit and vegetable juices as well. I mean, I'm a fan of juices and having juice as a healthy part of a healthy plant-based whole food diet overall, especially eating lots of fruits and vegetables. All right, Jason, so yeah, thanks for having me and showing me what was up in the back, showing you guys a real story of the best sugarcane juice I have found in Southern California. It is fresh canes here on Garvey in Rosemead, California. So check them out. And yeah, if you come in and buy stuff first visit, mention John Cole, you guys are gonna save 10% off to get the best sugarcane juice. All right, links down below to check out uh, Fresh Canes on Instagram if they got a website or something. And if you guys enjoyed this episode where I compared two sugar cane juices, got my friends telling you guys also besides me, what's the best? Thumbs this video up. That will encourage me to do more investigative behind the scenes, you know, footage to show you guys the best places you guys could buy fruit and vegetables and eat more plant foods, which are amazing. Also, be sure to share this video with others. If you have friends in LA or the local area that, you know, visit and frequent other sugar cane juice bars that may be selling frozen cane juice, let them know about this video so they can see the difference between frozen cane and fresh cane. There is a huge difference. Also, be sure to click that subscribe button right down below so you miss out my new and upcoming episodes I'm coming out about every five to seven days. You never know where I'll show up or what you'll be learning on my YouTube channel. And make sure to click the bell so you get notified as many videos come out. And finally, be sure to check my past episodes. My past episodes are a wealth of knowledge. Over 600 episodes at this time on this channel dedicated to teach you guys all about fruits and vegetables. I'll put a couple links below to some videos that I've made personally at my home juicing sugar cane as well as how to store sugar cane juice for up to seven days. So with that, my name is John Kohler with OKRaw.com. We'll see you next time. Until then, remember, keep eating your fresh fruits and vegetables and hey, drink some fresh sugar cane juice occasionally. They're always the best. <laughs>